I got some bullshit article here from electricliterature.com. White fantasy appropriates stories of oppression from people of color. Watchmen examines how racism has distorted who we see as our heroes. It's just another whole, oh, white people are, are the bad guys. We only care about something if it's happening to white people. That's the only way it's palatable to people. And they all that kind of shit. I have no idea what she's talking about here. Another day, another shit show involving J.K. Rowling. I'm starting to think there's a schedule. I'm not a potterhead, so I have no skin in the game. But I've seen enough friends and loved ones in the last couple of months with mental loss, in their words, of nothing less than their entire childhoods. And yeah, it just continues. I don't know, I don't know what the hell she's talking about here. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, so I don't know what the hell has happened. This is from a couple days ago. But anyway, it just goes on and it talks about some part of me will always love that universe of Harry Potter. And she talks, you know, I've also known that so much of what makes up our mainstream contemporary and fantasy narratives have been written by white authors. From Rowling's Harry Potter to Chris Claremont's run of X-Men, still its most well-known incarnation of Margaret Atwood's death. The Handmaid's Tale and its contemporary TV adaptation. They reach a global, cross-cultural audience even while their narrative universe is overwhelmingly center white protagonists, both on the page and on the screen. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But, you know, it, it's, for one, you talk about what white people, you know, the only way that these stories get told is because they got white people in them. But then you say, okay, what, well, you know, but at the same time, you complain about having too many white people. And so, you know, like right here. Yet all these stories borrow freely from the histories of oppression and intergener intergenerational trauma that have largely befallen communities of color. Racial discrimination, enslavement, apartheid, mass incarceration, state disappearances of dissidents, forced pregnancy, sterilization, and state sanctioned rape. As if all of those things don't happen to every excuse me, every single group of people out there. It's like, get the, get the fuck out of here, dude. Happens to white people, to black people, to teenagers, to Native Americans, Asians, and on and on. You know, I mean, it's kind of shit. It's like, come on. For marginalized kids who have seen ourselves in these stories, it comes as no coincidence. These stories have literally been built off the lives of people like us, our parents, our grandparents, our ancestors. We were constitutionally built to relate to these stories because those stories are, in every way, about us. You know, blah, 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 it goes on, talks about uh, Professor X is Martin Luther King Jr., Magneto's Michael Max, yada, yada, yada. It just goes on and on and on. And talk, and hell, it even talks in this part here. Uh, apocalyptic narratives about people having to flee their homes because of climate disaster or compete with each other over dwindling resources underneath the fascist state or submit to a patriarchal regime that rules over their entire biopolitical reality. From the day after tomorrow to the Hunger Games to the Handmaid's Tale, overwhelmingly center characters whose racial specifics have been conveniently left unspoken, neutral. This means, of course, that when they are adapted to screen, these characters are nearly always played by white stars. Hollywood's way of saying the quiet part out loud, that neutral always means white. Now, I think that's actually the, the author here reading too much into it. Hollywood's going to cast whoever they think is going to make the most money for them. That's all they care about. That's the, the only color Hollywood cares about is green. Besides the fact they've been patting themselves on the back for the last, I don't know, over a decade about how you know inclusive they are and shit. So why aren't they showing it? You know, like, what the hell? You know... So you go go bitch at the people who who do all this stupid shit. Maybe they can you know put up another uh, another round of imagine, or they can like look longingly into the camera and, and swear to be better and stuff. You know it's all this kind of bullshit. I'll I'll link this in the description because it's it's an extremely long. I mean all this shit. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. And on. So I'm not gonna read the entire fucking thing. Oh, I've already gone four minutes here. But basically, you get the joke, or you get the, the, the crux of it. You know, you get the gist of it. It's just complete bullshit. It's more whining about, well, you know, hey, only only bad things happen to, to people of color. You know, it, it, and, but it's always, you know, white people who, it's like everyone suffers, people of color are most affected. That kind of shit and stuff. And it's like, and come on, you know, it's just ridiculous. Like I said, I'll, I'll link it in the description box because it, you know, you can read the entire thing if you really want. I mean, I, I read it. It's, I, it basically t says what you, what you think it will. Like, you can basically kind of tell what she's going to say before she says it. The point she's going to try to make about how everything is seen through the, the racial lens, basically. And that, you know, you can't, Lord forbid you have, like, a white person involved in some kind of suffering. 
or whatever, because they're not they're not suffering as much as a person of color would. That's basically her point over and over and over. She just tries to say it in a bunch of different ways, essentially. Uh, yeah, cause I, I would I would recommend skimming it if you're really curious. Otherwise, you know exactly what it's going to say. So I'll go ahead and wrap this video up here. Uh, not much else to say, really, other than just you, this is this article is who you think it is, basically, to quote Denny Green. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.